Well, Shokin isn't the only White House departure we'll see this week. Friday is Communications Director Hope Hicks' last day in the West Wing. And Hicks announced last month she would resign from her position. Well, she was one of the few staffers remaining from Mr. Trump's campaign. And her departure may leave an already tumultuous White House even more unsteady. CBS News White House reporter Jacqueline Alamany says White House staffers are watching Hicks' exit with trepidation. And Jackie joins me now from Washington. Jackie, good to see you as well. Hey, great to see you, DeMarco. All right, in your piece, you mentioned a White House source who called Hicks, quote, the glue to the entire place. What are staffers saying about her departure? White House staffers are seriously concerned about a post-Hope Hicks White House, uh, calling Hope Hicks, you know, President Trump's right-hand woman, the unflappable, enigmatic um, communications director. Glue would be an understatement. One source framed her as someone who keeps the entire White House from fracturing and that people are really underestimating what her absence will mean in a White House that's already chaotic and, and filled with such entrenched divides, those divides being Trump loyalists uh, and traditional establishment D.C. Republicans. Um, I think that this past week has been a perfect example of how uh, it hopes absence will already be felt, as you can see with the chaotic firing of Trump's national security advisor, Henry McMaster. Uh, and then today, even with Secretary Shulkin, two firings that Trump announced via Twitter that the White House vehemently denied um, otherwise. So, uh, uh, you know, People describe, I talked with multiple sources who described Hope as just a warm and unifying presence, someone who has been able to use her very personal and very extensive relationship with the president and his family to her advantage and to the advantage of the staffers around her, sort of acting as a, as a, a mama bear, protecting and shielding staffers from the president's um, sometimes explosive outbursts. So she was the glue that pretty much kept the place together. Uh, what's the future without Hicks at the White House? Uh, the future without Hicks is still up in the air. Right now, sources are telling us that Kellyanne Conway, another Trump loyalist, someone who he has profusely praised um, as recently as last week, describing her as a warrior with courage um, who is really inscrutable, uh, is going to serve as the interim communications director. Um, but there, there has been a lot of backbiting that has taken even White House staffers by uh, taking them aback. Um, they haven't seen this sort of um, nasty, anonymous quotes about uh, their colleagues in media reports in some time. And um, so those two, they're the two contenders who have been mostly features in these report, featured in these reports are Mercedes Schlapp, mm -hmm. a director of strategic communications, and then Tony Sayeg, a, a treasury spokesperson. So these are two people who have sort of been jockeying for the position. Um, but, uh, you know, there has been a little bit of drama within that, um, which is that there is tension between uh, Hope Hicks and Mercedes Schlapp. Um, because, you know, when Hope Hicks was, uh, uh, you know, part of Hope's reason for resigning was um, uh, the situation with Rob Porter, Trump's staff secretary, um, who was accused of domestic uh, violence allegations, um, who also happened to be Hope's boyfriend. So when this situation was ongoing and obviously putting tons of pressure on personal pressure and professional pressure on Hope herself. Um, sources say that Mercedes uh, was sort of exploiting that situation to um, elevate herself in the White House hierarchy, which rubbed many people the wrong way. And uh, speaking of uh, Conway, uh, of course, she is known to sort of have a similar relationship as Hicks does uh, with the president. But I understand she really doesn't want the job. Yeah, that's that's right. Kellyanne Conway has said repeatedly from the start that she's been offered communications director and she didn't want the job. Uh, as one source put it to me, um, Kellyanne Conway has been able to eschew any paperwork and day to day grind. Uh, they actually asked me what she did really in general, um, but that this job uh, would sort of hold her back from being able to freelance, be on TV and sort of um, do what she wanted to do. But this same source also pointed out that the jockeying and the backbiting sort of missed the point overall, uh, which is that the job of White House communications director is already filled by the president himself. All right, Jackie Alamany, thank you so much. Always good to see you as well there in Washington.